How to Replace Your Fear with Trust from How God Turns Setbacks into Comebacks. He did rescue us from mortal danger, and He will rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in Him, and He will continue to rescue us. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, NLT. Sometimes the fears in your life can be loud, demanding your attention, but you can trust that God is with you and for you and is more powerful than whatever you're afraid of. The idea that God has rescued us in the past and will continue to do so, reinforcing the message of trust. Fears can be loud and demanding, but assures them that God is more powerful and always with them. Drawing inspiration from the Apostle Paul's example, who chose to trust God in frightening situations, the author emphasizes the choice to believe that God is watching over and working for the good of those who love and follow Him. It underscores that, as believers, all things ultimately work together for good, even in challenging circumstances. It suggests that fear stems from a lack of trust in God and encourages us to identify our fears and replace them with trust in God, expecting His help in this transformation. Now, this is important. Expect God to start helping you learn to trust Him with each fear. Then, watch to see how He helps you. Time to reflect. What fears have you identified in your life? Why do you think you trust God in some areas and not in others? When have you seen God come through when your fear told you you wouldn't? Heavenly Father, grant us the strength to replace our fears with unwavering trust in your divine plan. In Jesus' name. Amen.